Hey friends, welcome back to another video. This is Fitness Monopoly, uh, just another fitness game that kind of helps increase motivation, uh, makes fitness a little bit more fun, a little bit more enjoyable. Um, you know, just something to kind of help <laughs> help students actually want to do fitness. Okay, so this is Fitness Monopoly now. In the picture, you may look uh, like mayhem, may look like a little confusing. That is because it is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it definitely is. Uh, requires a lot of setup, a lot of grind, but it is so fun. Kids absolutely love it. Such a good time. Okay, now in the picture, as you can see, uh, every time you see something yellow, okay, that means like it's like a workout station. Okay, like a workout, a workout is uh, like a picture of a workout is there, whatever. Uh, all the blue rectangles, okay, those are just mats, uh, crash mats or whatever. Um, and then all of the circles are just hula hoops. Okay, now the main idea of Fitness Monopoly is they are going to travel, okay, in each workout space, so each yellow space, that counts as like a space on the board, okay. So what happens is they're going to start on a mat, they're going to start at a workout, okay. You're going to split them up, send them to different workouts, they're going to be in groups of, you know, two, three, four, depending on your class size, whatever. Okay, each group is going to get two dice, all right, now how this works is one person in the group is going to roll a dice. Okay, now, like I said, you have two, all right? So the first time, you're going to roll one dice, okay, one die. Once you roll one die, that means that number represents how many spaces you move. Okay, so if this group here, okay, if this group, they roll a three, okay, what they have to do is they have to travel one workout, two workouts, and all the way to three. Okay, so they're traveling three workouts. They're not moving three mats. They're not moving three hula hoops, okay? They go count different um, uh, workouts, okay, or exercises. Um, once they get to that exercise, okay, then as a group, they're going to roll both their dice. Once they roll both their die, okay, then they're going to, however many they roll, they're going to do that number of reps for whatever workout they're at. Okay, so what I mean is if they if this workout, so this yellow poster, is push-ups, okay, they're going to roll their dice. If they roll two sixes on the dice, okay, they have to do 12 reps, all right? So each group member has to do 12 push-ups, all right? Uh, I don't know, I just screamed all right, sorry. Um, they're going to do 12 push-ups, okay? Once you do those 12 push-ups, you start the process again. You roll one dice. Okay, say this time I rolled a two. I go one workout, two workouts. Okay, and sorry, when I, I feel like I should have drawn this better. Okay, you're traveling on the mats. You're traveling on the hula hoop. So if I roll two, my group's going to run. They're going to jump in the hula hoop, jump on the mat, run. Okay, that's one right here. They're going to jump in the hula hoop, jump in the hula hoop, jump, run on the mat, and they've made it. Okay, once they get there, remember they rolled both dice. Okay, the first time they rolled one. The second time they rolled both to see how many reps. So this one might be burpees. If you roll six, so two threes, uh, you roll six, that means you have to do six burpees. Okay, everyone in the group has to do six burpees. All right, now they're going to keep doing this. They're going to go around and around. And what I did is um, I had a little station set up just kind of on the side, uh, on some benches. And Every time they pass that station, they get to pick or get they get to grab a uh, a popsicle stick. You know, you can make like real Monopoly and print like Monopoly money, like collect two hundred easy pass go. Um, but I just thought popsicle sticks were easier. Uh, just something we already had. So once you go all the way around, once you go all the way around, get a little messy. Okay, you pick up the popsicle stick, and then you keep going. All right, now you can have it where everyone picks up a popsicle stick. You can have it where one group member picks up a popsicle stick. All right, it really does not matter. Okay, don't stress too much about that. Uh, it's so fun. It's so chaotic at times, but it is so fun. Um, you got to make sure that you're um, making sure all the equipment is uh, kind of like uh, nice and tidy. You know, like equipment's going to move a lot when kids are running on it, jumping on it. So just kind of maintenance throughout, uh, making sure that they understand each workout, you know, demonstrating if they need, making sure when they're doing it, they're actually properly doing it. They're not cheating. Uh, make sure that, you know, group members are not leaving others behind, kind of make it as a team aspect, like, all right, make sure everyone does it, and then you can move on. 
um stuff like that and it's just it was such a fun way uh to just kind of make fun out of make make fitness more fun you know and uh something i didn't really it's not really a reason why i did it but uh it worked so well as you know my in my mind i was like oh they're going to be doing all these exercises all these exercises and what i found was that you know they're doing all the exercises it's amazing but a huge part of it is just them literally running around from space to space like they were crushing it they were cruising uh, so they had that cardio as well um, and not just kind of like doing those exercises. So f amazing, fantastic activity. It takes time to set up, but I, I promise you it's worth it. So yeah, thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, just make sure you comment down below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, peace.